kombucha with Lorraine, which are absolutely fabulous. And this is my absolute favourite, the Soft Lights Eliminating Tint. It gives you a glow. Yes, Lorraine. and you know, as we all know, once we get into our 40s and we start ageing, one of the things that does happen naturally is that our skin loses its luminosity that, you know, teenage skins have. Mm -hmm. Our skin becomes drier. And so we want the skin to look luminous because when it looks luminous, it looks fresher and also it softens the line. I, I think the big mistake women make is that they think as they get older they've got to cover up their lines. Now that is the mistake because when you put too much foundation on, it just makes the lines deeper and stand out more. So the lovely thing about illuminating tint is that it just gives that skin that luminosity that looks lush and radiant. And this definitely is, um, it's won awards this product. So I'm really glad you okay. know, that you have mm. been introduced to this product. What I do with this is that I mix it with the Clear Lights Tinted Moisturizer. Right. The Tinted Moisturizer, again, is very light. And I just mix the two together. I just put a little bit on the back of my wrist, get my um, brush, mix them together, and that's what I use. What I have found with, with the products is that they stay all day. I don't have to do a touch up. I might have to do a little bit of concealer underneath the eye, but the foundation doesn't move. So with the foundation and moisturizers, um, you want to make sure it's a light application. Now the lipsticks, when you think about it, we put it on our lips and what do we do? Lick our lips and eat it. They've done tests of you know how much we ingest through you wearing lipstick and one of the biggest problems with lipstick is that a lot of lipsticks contain lead right. which is not good for us when we're talking here you're talking here about aging and not um, hiding our lines and things like that not so long ago you went on the cover of the Australian Women's Weekly says any photoshopping or airbrushing which is inspiring why did you make the decision to do that? Um, first of all, the Australian Women's Weekly approached me because they had done a cover on Judy Bailey and a lot of people were really upset because they didn't recognise her. And they, really felt, they felt that they owed it to their readers to say, hey, you know, yes, we do do touching up and maybe we did a bit too much. All magazines are touched up and so they wanted to put me on to, to basically discuss the issue and I felt I didn't have a problem with it because it was something that I I think all women should know that every image they look at has been retouched and I think that you know that that makes a lot of women go oh okay so that her skin she might have a few wrinkles and she is my age and so I did it as basically um, you know I wanted to be the part of saying that you know this is what goes on and every image that I've been in most magazines is retouched so here I am natural and then inside the magazine they retouch the photo so it was just again making women aware having an awareness I thought that was a wonderful thing to do because I think everyone does have an awareness that it goes on and we do love to see images of beautiful people beautiful things that's mm. it's the human well, it's about perfection, yes, yes. but it's not reality. No. Um, but I also sort of feel that we should also see a range of ages. Because to me, a woman in her 70s is still beautiful. Oh, so gorgeous. But how often do we see women in magazines that are that age? The New Zealand Women's Weekly 80th birthday, you were on the cover of yes. that, right? And inside were the 80-year-old. Yeah. Um, People. that was just mm. wonderful yeah and they are so beautiful they are and you know it, it, again it's sort of saying that you know um, if you erase all the wrinkles the message that that sends to women is your wrinkles aren't okay yes.